trying to take a video or picture of your reef tank under actinic lighting to capture the fluorescence of corals is often pretty difficult because blue light is not very kind to camera lenses. As you can see here, everything just looks blue and kind of washed out and kind of boring. Uh, you have a couple options. One thing is you can try and fiddle with your white balance. Uh, if you're into photography, you can look that up on Google. It's not that difficult to do. All, all you need is something that's true white, and you can put it inside your tank, and you can set your camera to that white. But something even easier than that is to get these gel filters that you can find on like eBay or Amazon. Uh, this one is orange. It looks blue in the uh, film right now because of the fish tank. But you can see the difference that it makes. These are Rastas. They look kind of washed out in the video, but when I'm looking at them, they're pretty brilliant. So if I put this orange filter in front, you can see what I see. That's a pretty good representation of what they actually look like. It's a big difference. Same goes for these zoanthids here. It's with the filter and without the filter. Not only are the colors more vibrant with the filter, but the textures of the corals are also more visible. Here everything looks like it's kind of high contrast and you lose the textures of the tentacles and the polyps. Let's just go around the tank and do the same thing. Now if you do use actinic lighting, I suggest you get some of these. And I also suggest you get some of these glasses. These are just standard orange UV glasses. And when you put them on, you can you can see the corals just like you would through the filter, except when I put these glasses on, I can see the colors even more vibrantly than you're seeing them on the uh, video right now. This is an interesting thing to have. I know at uh, coral frag shows they often have these so you can see the fluorescence of the corals. It's, uh, it's pretty neat. My video camera is not that great, so... If you did this on a DSLR camera, you'd get much, much better results. This is looking pretty good. Let's see how far I can focus before I lose. Oh. This is a Digitata Montipora, I believe. There's a red plate on the back. The reds really pop out. The blues, not so much. This is supposed to be a blue SPS coral. It's a red dragon. These are fire and isoanthids. See, without the filter, with the filter. This is Nephthia, I believe, or Singularia. I forgot which one. If you touch one of the polyps, they all close. It's pretty interesting behavior. It's a giant Possilopora. Well, I mean, I guess it's not that giant, but relatively speaking. This is a Hollywood Stunner Chalice, I believe. Very pretty coral. It does sting other corals, so you kind of have to keep it away from everything. 
This is a Sephastria. Haven't had much luck with it. I can't get it to focus. There we go. It's alive. This is a Jedi mind trick, Monty. See, even with this orange filter, you can't really see the true colors. It's green on the inside, and the fringes are uh, like a combination of teal and purple. So, it's not perfect, but it works, and it's fun to have. When your guests come over, they can put these glasses on. They're relatively cheap. They should only be like four or five bucks. Well, that's that. Comment below. Happy reefing.